that's all he wants to do. Cheers. But this could go wrong. Yep. Foul. Too much swerve on, on this. It. Andrew Padgett, four. Foul. Andrew Padgett, four. He's going to top it in, so he doesn't need as much power, but he's missed it anyway. One. Yeah, dead right. He, 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 the first frame, he, didn't, he had a nice break, 60 odd, I think, and he was, you know, he controlled the bike really well. So Six. Thought he looked like he was in, uh, you know, good nick, but yeah, Lee played really well in the end, so. I think you just have to put it down that Lee played better on the day, but I think that these tables Seven. similar sort of player to Mark in that respect that he's not play he's not a big power player but he sort of like floats the water around. And with these tails being so quick it might sort of help him feel more comfortable but we'll see. Not perfect. Fifty. Twenty-three. There it is. It's on the blue. Perfect there. If you fancy. Cheers. One of his best wins was over Neil Robertson in the Antwerp Open in Belgium in 2012 the semi-finals there. Yeah, it's easy to think that the players that are down the rankings or not. Won the European Amateur Championship in Portugal in 2020. That earned him a card, but he didn't take it immediately because he That's had some time. health issues which, reman which demanded a quite serious operation. Needed time to recover from that, so... Thankfully, the snooker authorities granted him a, a one-year deferral. So he played his first year back last season, and now this is the, the second season of that card. 44. Yeah, I think sometimes when a player's lost his card and you know, maybe a life event like that can you know, give him a better sort of mindset and view on, on, on just playing snooker at the end of the day, and like, you just enjoy 45. it more. 45. Andrew Padgett, 45. I'm just going to say... Well... Well, that was one of the, the shots of the day that surprises you most. One of the worst shots of the day. Yeah, he'd definitely like to have that one back. Six. Matt Williams, six. You must go. Yes, well. and I'm sure that the other one went near the last about it as well. So good news, bad news here for Six. Williams. The openness of the Reds helping with the counter-attack. The awkwardness of the black hindering and that's why Seven. getting the pink 
into play. That really helps. Yeah, he played a good shot on the blue to get low on that red so he can cannon the other red out of the way and get on the pink. Because he knew if he potted the pink without doing that, he was tied up. So just another example of how clever a player is. He won't be too happy with that, although he expect to get it. Not perfect now. 30. Over the purity of the strike, that creates more. It's, it's as much the the psychology of it. You know, you can be a bit 70. angry with yourself for not being perfect and end up missing the red. Needed angle on this red. I think he could have done with just a, a tad more. He does have something to work with, though. 30. Yeah, had to be unambitious there. Yeah, he played the play. He could have played it off two rails, but he sort of just rolled it in and then got on a tougher pink. But he's got a good angle to get behind the red. There he is, look. He's, he's on it now. He's a good shot with the one is not his left hand is certainly the rest, does it? Oh he does. This is the, the crux of the frame, you would believe. Thirty seven. Thanks, Mark. I say but as a player with a lead, there's not many players that scarier coming back at you than Mark Williams. Get that perfect angle on the, the green so he can just get right on the brown. 44. 47. Not leave it anyway. No, he's not gone for it. But he did have to think about it. 100 Padgett 4. Yeah, definitely walks on the table like he's not not interested and then he sets a trap and, all, and before you know it, he's pot and game ball. But this makes a difference. Eleven and the first frame. A Matt lovely Williams. break of forty seven.